Alrighty folks, this round I'm pretty sure we're gonna get her mobile. That's the plan. Well, I think it's always been mobile, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> it came here on a tow truck, so I don't know. Anyways, um, I pulled the wheels, checked the brakes. They all seem good. Uh, also, now I notice it'll be easier to do start the exhaust and stuff with the wheels off in the front anyways. It's pretty much just gonna be like this one, a slight elbow and just a straight shot back. Same with this side. So I don't think we'll do too much, too fancy with it. We're gonna go down because the running board sits so much lower, we can actually hang the exhaust lower than a feller normally would. But uh, the problem back here is in the back, we're gonna have to switch it over to come to this side. Like we could go under, but I really don't want to run under the fuel tank. So on the uh, driver's side, we're gonna go by the transmission somewhere we're gonna kick it over and then they're both gonna come back that's the plan from there it's gonna go here we'll have to go like really high up and over but I think I'm just gonna bring it we're gonna dump it in front of the, the diff for now uh, I think in his big picture he's gonna have like the mufflers coming out the center of the bumper something like that he's got an idea and I don't don't know what it is something is happening here and there's something weird going on with the exhaust that's his plan I am cool with that but just not happening this round. Uh, what else are we doing? We're gonna modify these brackets and figure out what we're gonna do with this stuff. Get the tail lights on. We're gonna get the headlights, the hood, the red. Basically just button this thing up and then hopefully take her for a spin. That is pretty much the plan for this video. I think everything is done. I'm gonna pop this grill back out because we need to make amount to hold this thing so i got a little bit of flat bar the idea is we're going to punch a couple holes in it we're basically just going to use the the mounts on here and burn it to this little plate that he's got going on down there and uh we should be golden i'll have to dig around my shed we'll find some hoses some heater hoses stuff like that uh I think a bag of hardware is there for the grill. We got the lights on the bench. Yeah, we got a game plan. We're gonna have to deal with the cold air intake thingamabob, but that's okay. We can cut that up and do our thing. And hopefully Ryder's actually by and uh, puts my saw together. That'll help for uh, <laughs> doing my exhaust. That's the plan. Anyways, what are we gonna do first? I think we're going to work on the taillights. Let's get that done and wired, and then we can focus on the front. Because, yeah, I think that's all we got to do in the back. Once we get that out of the way, we are in the home stretch here.
The tail lights are all wired. Uh, I had everything working. Then it stopped working. I was confused. Looked at it for a bit. Turns out, I guess these are six volt bulbs for some reason in here. So I got to pick up some bulbs. But we have everything wired, loomed in, bumper brackets in. The only thing I don't know is the the license plate. Yeah, we got to figure out what's going on with that. It might very well be that it's just going to hang from a bracket for now until he figures out what he's doing. But anyways, like I say, it takes these small bulbs. I'm going to have to find some 12 volts like that because these do not last very long running on 12 volt. Anyways, we got to do those. Not a big deal. Now we shall move on start with the transmission cooler uh, we'll make that bracket then we can put on the front uh this stuff bolt it all in and top rad oh yeah we're just blazing through this thing
Well, that worked out pretty good. That was a bit of a sucker to get everything to fit, but uh, we got everything together. Signals are working, headlights are working. I just test fit the rad, like it should be fine. I just gotta figure out how to hold it on there. And I gotta go find some hoses. So we gotta somehow snake this around to here, which is gonna make it a little interesting with the coolant because it's higher, but oh well. We'll figure it out. I gotta put the heater hoses on. I got some hose over there. We got some clamps, we got some antifreeze. Yeah, we're just about just about there. I gotta basically pull the rad out now. I just want to clean up the wiring. We have just a lot of it hanging down here, so I just want to fasten this up in a better way. Put some loom on it. I'm pretty sure I got enough loom, so we'll cover that up. Cover up down there a bit. Then yeah. Fire it up and see what happens here. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a bugger to burp. Just look at this lower hose is here. This is higher. That's going to be a little bit of a suck fest. I always fill the motor from here anyways, so that should get rid of any air bubbles in there, but we almost need to get... Well, then we have to... Oh, there's a lot of stuff happening in this little space. Well, it's not too bad. This thing can kind of do... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Well, we'll figure it out. One thing at a time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A lot of stuff going on and not a lot of room. Dinner time. <laughs> it's wing night. <laughs> All right. Oops. Okie doke. Well, go for supper and we'll try this again. <laughs> yep.
So, what have we all done? We have gotten, we got coolant in the system. I had to pick up an elbow because I don't have any hoses that do all these bends. So I got a piece of copper pipe into here that had a 45 on it. That gets us here in the zone for our upper rad hose. The lower one, I found one that fits. So it's in there. While we were filling it, stuff was just leaking. It wasn't tight. Not a big deal. We got that all figured out. Um, we just got to do figure out an upper rad mount. I had to trim this and bring it back just so we can get some breathing room between the uh, pulleys and the rad or the upper hoses there. Um, we had all these different fittings and junk that he had for a cold air intake, but none of it works. So I went to my typical plumbing with the black pipe. We got that. I just got to glue this fitting. We drilled and put in that um, air temp sending a gauge, I guess, whatever it is, mass air temperature, something like that. Anyways, it's in there. We are clear and everywhere, throttle works, all that jazz. So this is all good. We just got to do this, actually mount up his overflow tank here properly, get that done. And then uh, I think we're kind of done. We just got to put the hood on and start on the exhaust, figure out what we got to do there. I picked up some stuff. I needed some bigger loom, so we picked up that just so we can tidy up some of the wires over here, clean it up. And possibly he'll want to use some of it inside of here yet. I don't know. I am not sure. Whoops. If that's something we're going to do inside. No idea. Uh, but yeah, progress. Just about there. Uh, we did get all the lights working. I don't know if I mentioned that or we talked about it. I think I did. They're all working. I forgot to get bulbs. I got to do that yet. Uh, other than that, I think we're good to go. Well, Dallas was by, gave me a hand. We put the hood on. We got that all going. I haven't heard much from Ryder, so I'm thinking he's been busy lately. Uh, I think the one day he was going to come out, uh, I was doing stuff. So, anyways. I guess I'm just going to assemble this thing really quick so I can uh, get the ball rolling on the exhaust and slowly just kind of fitting and seeing what works where. But uh, yeah, I just want to get her done. So I guess we're going to dig into this thing and quickly put it together. And then we can start cutting some exhaust pieces. Try it out.
Well now, that was quite the uh, tricky exhaust. That side was straightforward. This one we had to come back under the transmission and then match up to the other side because he's got a crossover or something. So he wants that in there. And then uh, I don't know how much pipe, we'll have a little bit of pipe and then we can go to the mufflers. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, I didn't have any gas, so I had to use flux. It's messy, but if you go over with a wire brush, it doesn't look terrible when it's all said and done. So it's, uh, it looks prettier in some places than others. But you probably, a feller should go over with a wire brush anyways because uh, you never know if you get pinholes. It's kind of easy to get with uh, the flux stuff. So anyways, we got that touched up. Everything's good. Now we can go stick them back on. I had to remove this cross member because that piece was extra long and wobbly. So anyways, there was a cross member. I've removed that. Now we can put everything back in, do a hanger off the back. I don't know if this side, this probably should have one off that hangy bit there. That's kind of extra long there. But uh, and I think there was a hanger actually on this cross member. So if I put this cross member in the other way, I might actually be able to reach. No, I can't. But I'll take the hanger off of there anyway, so we'll use it on there. There's a hanger in the back that we'll be able to use to tie into the mufflers. So, yeah. Just bolt this sucker together and then... Uh, figure out our exhaust at the back. Alrighty, we have everything buttoned up on here. Mm, I still got to glue that. I didn't do that. Uh, we did some mud flap under here, under here, and just zap this uh, bar on to hold the rad. So it seems to work good. Now to get the rad out, you just have to undo this front part comes off, and then you can pull the rad out. So I'm pretty happy with that. That is good. We did the exhaust because something's going to change with the exhaust later. So I uh, have stuff just temporarily tacked, but it kind of goes here and dumps at the axle right now. So I don't know if we're going to keep them there or if he's going to want to bring them over behind here and then out the back. I'm not sure. For now, it's just temporarily slung up there. It's actually really, really quiet. Uh, let's see here. This thing still has to do a lot of learning. This intake, holy, that thing is so loud. This 92 millimeter, holy, that thing's loud. <laughs> I don't know if I could handle that. Golly, that's loud. I thought there's something rubbing, but it's actually this huge intake just makes so much noise, that 92 millimeter thing. Golly. Cool. Well, I think he's got the hood emblem, so I can't do too much with that. I think that pretty much finishes this thing off. For now, anyways, I think we got her all buttoned up. Last thing to do is go uh, take her for a little burn, I think. See if everything works. And then we can hand it off.
Alrighty, got back from that rip. Works good, pretty happy with it. We had some troubles with this, and I know some people who use these, I guess there's always some hiccup somewhere, most of the time. I shouldn't say most of the time, usually you shouldn't, but anyways, we had problems with it. We had one bad injector in the motor, had to figure that out. And then with the whole Holly dealio, uh, we were having it, well, we ended up figuring out to be an intermittent spark issue on the one side and just turned out it was just a bad ground wire. So I didn't put it together, but uh, I, I did check it, but I thought it was tight. And then, yeah, then the other night we were, a bunch of us were sitting around here and then uh, I was digging around and I realized the one wire was loose. So win, fix that all up. So she is good to go. I am pretty sure Dallas is going to be super happy with this thing. It boogies like with a 4.8 and I think it's got that uh, Brian Tooley truck cam stage two in there. So for a little 4.8, man, this thing will suck you into the back of the seat like nobody's business. Uh, anyways, I think this is where we are gonna leave this one. I uh, wanna thank you all for uh, watching and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Later. <laughs>